Hello, my name is Elisa Crespo Murat, and I am an eighth grader in Palos Verdes Intermediate School in Palos Verdes Estates. I am presenting what I've learned about the jellyfish T. dorney and its life cycle, and what it might have to do with human aging. The jellyfish Turtopsis dorney has the unique ability to undergo a process known as regeneration, which has given it the nickname the immortal jellyfish. It can grow old, grow back young, and repeat this in an infinite cycle. The jellyfish begins as a young polyp and grows into an adult jellyfish known as a medusae. And if it feels stressed and endangered, it can grow back into a polyp again, passing through a cyst stage, and it can do this forever, potentially. Um, but how can the jellyfish do this? How can it reverse its aging? The answer is in each cell's gene expression. In each stage, different genes are being over and under expressed um, during the jellyfish's life cycle. Scientists study this through differential gene expression. By studying differential gene expression in Turtopsis dorney, scientists have been able to identify which genes are the most present in different stages of the jellyfish's life hence which genes are the most associated with regeneration. What I did was find information on the genes most associated with regeneration. I learned what they do or what they are thought to do in Teratopsis dorney and what they do in human beings. This information allowed me to compare and contrast them to really get an idea what they do. What I was trying to determine was which genes from T. dorney regeneration would be best candidates for human longevity. Using any using my own criteria, I decided that these were the ones most associated with aging and longevity. The genes that I chose were SVEP1, MSRA, serine race mace, actin, calmodulin, BRCA1, collagen alpha 1, TEF, and elongation factor 1. These could possibly help with human aging since they are known to be involved with longevity, aging, and DNA regulation. There are also other genes that are, would be good candidates for this. Many of the genes under or overexpressed in the cyst stage were associated with aging, longevity, and DNA regulation. Many of the stages genes, the cyst stages genes, were also associated with cancers, tumors, and a ton of them were unknown genes, unstudied genes. Um, the cyst stage is the stage most worth future studying for more information on it, but just the regenerative process of T. dorney should all in all be further studied because who knows it could be beneficial for the treatment of cancer um, to conduct more research or it could be the la the next step towards it could be the next step towards leading us to combating human aging and aiding human longevity and just all in all the regenerative life cycle of Teratopsis dorney should be hugely interesting for scientists to conduct future research on. Thank you.